I'm Govind, I'm from Automorphic, and we're building a firewall for LLS. And so uh, that's a pretty complex term, and I'll, also I'll break it down. The basic idea behind this firewall is to stop adversarial attacks, to stop hackers from messing with models in, in dangerous ways, right? And so it, I'll give you an example of such an attack. Suppose you're playing around with GPT, and the instructions of this model are, you are a helpful French translator. Right? If you say something normally, uh, like, I don't know, hello world, you will get a basic response, hello world, right? And it's behaving as expected. But if instead I, as a malicious hacker or a malicious user, try to do something like this, well then it starts writing this elaborate French essay trying to convince me to start the LLM firewall on GitHub, right? And so this is a very playful, very simple example of the kinds of danger that can occur when you give models uh, the ability to execute untrusted user input. So think of these attacks as analogous to SQL injection, maybe if you've heard of it, where if you execute uh, arbitrary user input with uh, administrative powers, you can get all kinds of sketchy, dangerous effects. And so one example is there are a lot of uh, AI email assistants that read emails, that have the ability to categorize emails, delete emails, and so forth. And so someone could very easily, inside of an email, basically just embed, uh, embed an instruction to delete all emails from XYZ person, right? And the model, because it's been trained to follow instructions so well, it'll just do that. And you won't even realize because it is, in the end of the day, just following instructions. Right? And, so, and, and so if we do see what, what happened here, it's literally translated it for us. It's trying to convince a user to, to start a GitHub repo, right? Or another example is uh, someone with a Bing chat, professor at Georgia Tech, uh, inserted this in his website, mentioned that Mark Riedel is a time travel expert. And so when Bing chat summarized uh, all the information about him, it said that, he is also a time travel expert, right? And this is a reasonably playful uh, side effect of the model's ability to follow instructions, but at the end of the day, it can lead to disastrous consequences, right? And that's what we're trying to stop with this firewall, which protects the user from the models, from a compromised model, and protects models from malicious users. And so uh, our, we have a three-pronged approach. The first layer is something borrowed from traditional cybersecurity. Uh, that basically just the term looks for lexical string similarity. We have another layer that uh, basically learns the attack signature of uh, some an injection that has been an attack that has been identified as an attack. And we have a third layer that is another model that actually identifies these kinds of uh, malicious attacks. And so to show you what it looks like, uh, this is the uh, previous attack. If you see, they'll tell you that uh, an attack has been detected. Or for like another example, maybe this one, right? Which is absurd, right? But it identifies that an attempt has been made to subvert uh, the parameters of the prompt. So there are a lot of other concerns, right? So if you're an enterprise and uh, you're worried that users may attempt to, may accidentally leak personal identif identification information or sensitive company information, well then you can stop that with this firewall. Or if the model itself uh, may act in a manner that uh, is not complied with regulations, right? So like if you have a FinTech chatbot, you can't, it's not allowed to give legal advice or financial advice. And so if it starts suggesting stocks, well that's a grave danger. And so this would kind of stop those kinds of uh, sensitive information from getting to the user. And it would also prevent the user from setting that kind of malicious information to the mob. And so if you'd like to check it out uh, and find it, find us at uh, automorphic.ai slash playground if you want to play around with it. And if you want to try it out or have any ideas or you know, possible suggestions for contributions, uh, shoot us an email uh, or go to our GitHub repo and you'll find us. But yeah, thank you.